Can you spot the explosive? That's all it's going to look like to a, a screener. That is actually a half pound of the explosive C4. To you or me, it might look like a slab of cheese or chocolate bar on this older model airport baggage x-ray. That is the same half pound of C4 exploding. A high powered explosive tough to get in the United States, but it's used by militaries around the world and is a favorite of terror groups as well. Used in attacks on both the USS Cole and on US military housing at Saudi Arabia's Kobar Towers. And even if C4 isn't available, there are homemade alternatives. Peter Jones, COO of Tripwire Operations Groups, was an explosive specialist for the Department of Homeland Security. He's showing us a range of homemade explosives that can be made with off-the-shelf products, not as powerful as C4, but even a small amount could be devastating to a plane. This is metal. This was explosive that was made out of a um, sugar substitute. And that's all it was, some chemistry like we did with And this how much plane. explosive created this hole? Approximately 80 grams. 80 grams, mm -hmm. so not, not a lot. No, not a lot at all. Those homemade explosives don't look like much when going through this, again, older model airport x-ray machine. Newer x-ray machines are more sophisticated and can distinguish suspect items more readily. That is the same half pound of homemade explosive being detonated. Investigators believe if a bomb was placed on Metrojet 9268, it was likely done by circumventing normal airport security. But even here in the U.S., there are concerns. Last June, the Department of Homeland Security Office of Inspector General found banned items got through TSA airport security screening nationwide 67 of 70 times. The revelation of the report led to the reassignment of the TSA director. The department also saying travelers are protected by multiple layers of security, baggage screening, only one of many seen and unseen ways TSA evaluates risk.